Hmm? Joyce. Mm -hmm. um, we are in it together. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I'll be outside. What did you do to me? Nothing. Just doing my job. But this, this dish is delicious. Mm. You're a really great cook. Mm. Mm, wow. When is your cousin leaving? Why well, should you just go here? Is there a problem? I don't think I can stand an extended family staying that long. But I'm just okay, I'll just tell her to avoid you. Is that okay? Never mind. She's a nice person, though. <laughs> Indeed. She's a very nice person. I asked you before she came. You, told, you give the permission. You told her to come. I know she's here asking when she's leaving. I don't understand, though. I'm in the house alone. You're not always in the house. I'm bored in the house. What are you doing? Cleaning, obviously. You dress up like this when you clean. But I'm fully clothed. You are barely clothed. You can't dress like this and be in this house. Is this what you do? Dressed up indecent? What is this? What's going on? What's Tell your guest to dress properly if she's going to stay in this house. Oh, uh, okay. Um. How is she half naked? And you think it's it's not an issue? It's not an issue, babe. Your husband get hot and bow. How man go find a finish? Get broad chest, six packs, sweet man. Call his hot temper, spoil everything. Just relax, it's going to warm up to you very soon. Just do what you have to do, and I'll do mine. Okay? Okay. So, what will I be doing if I'm not seducing Mr. Handsome? Am I allowed to step out? Step out where exactly? To go see my other clients. What client? Look, no clients, no messing around until the deal is over. So, what will I be doing all day? Sit around and wait for your boring husband to come back. Look, we had an agreement and I paid you in full. So quit whining and do your job. I'm stepping out and he's going to be returning very soon. Do what you have to do. It's one go hard though. I'll paid you in full. Do your job. Rubbish.
Why did you keep such thing from Sarah? You should have told her. Tell her what? That a woman who just got into my house from God knows where tried to seduce me. Why not? I don't want any problems between them. I'm going to pretend like that was a mistake and hope it doesn't happen again. And what if it does? Do we have the permission to sell up the hotel now? I'm yet to hear from our superior. Information reaching me is that the hotel belongs to a certain minister. And it won't be easy for us since we do not have enough evidence to link the hotel to the mother. So what does this mean for us? We'll wait. This is the second time this barbaric act has happened in that hotel. And they keep getting away with it. Someone needs to be held responsible for this. Yeah. Someone needs to be stopped, otherwise this will not stop. Well, I understand how you feel, but we must follow the due protocol. Slow and steady, they say, wins the race, Inspector. Welcome, sir. Well, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Just that the house is usually boring each time Sarah steps out. I just sit around all day and do absolutely nothing with no one else to talk to. But now that you're home, I'm glad. Now, why don't you keep me company? Why don't I? No, I guess you can keep me company. And in return, I can give you some sugar. Since we're all alone. the last time underneath the table I let it slide because I thought it was a mistake but now that I know that you were a demon I'm going to put you in your place wait till Sarah gets back Just ouch Use his cop, cop hand on me. Ouch. Ooh. Boy, oh, this job is is so difficult. Look, sis, that your husband too strong. Eh? He did almost break my hand today. Didn't I warn you? When I warned you, what would you have me do? What would you have me do? That's my usual trick I tried on him. Your trick is so slutty. But I thought you said you were good with the flirting techniques. Mm -hmm. Really? How come you don't know that most men are turned off by women who they see as desperate? Or you want me to teach you your job? If you keep going at him with this your slutty self, he's going to figure you out. Well, fine. Uh, but wait, wait. Why are you doing this? I beg your pardon? Your husband, he seems like a really nice man. And he loves you so much. Why are you doing this? Can you stop with this? the questions and do your job? And you do it right. Okay, sis. <sighs> Feisty. Just come on, like this. 
can't stand this. I'm beginning to lose it. Good news! Pending investigation, we have received the order to seal off the hotel entirely, not just Good. the room. Good! Yes. You're sure about this? Yes, you did it! Awesome. This is a very good step. Seeing that they don't want to release the footages, we're going to show them that we can play that game. Mm -hmm. So, how is Avis though? Have you told your wife about her? Yes, I did. That's what she said. What? She says I'm overthinking things and reading meaning into everything. <laughs> no. Are you trying to say she believes that over you? No, come on. Anyways, go get the car warmed up. We're going to re-arrest Mr. Monday and get him back here for questioning. Sure, boss. Going somewhere? At the supermarket, near the stock of the house. Why don't you send Emily? Maybe she can be of some use to you in this house. Hey, come on. She barely even knows her way around the estate. Got her some snacks. So. so you're telling me that I will not have breakfast until you get back? I dare not starve my officer. Your breakfast is on the dining table. Okay? I got you, babe. Babe, and I need you to promise me something. Just one thing. That's you're going to be nice to her. With regards to that, I can't make any promises. As long as she doesn't get on my nerves. I'll tell her not to. Okay? I'll be back soon. Bye. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. Do you need help with anything? No. Thank you. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. Um, water for the car, please. Say what? Sorry. Please, let me have some water for the car. Oh, water for the car. Coming right up. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, anything else you want me to do for you? Thank you. Nothing else. Okay. Ah, uh, one more thing. I've been wondering, what are you studying and what level are you in? Oh, theatre and film studies. Hmm. 300 level. At UNN? Yeah. Yes, Sarah told me. <laughs> I mean, so you already know that I graduated from TFS in 2008 myself. Are you serious? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should know Professor Robson. You know Professor Robson? Yeah. Man is such a handful, hmm. but he's a wonderful lecturer. I enjoy all his lectures. I didn't know you knew him. <laughs> Do you know there's a time he knelt all the bad boys in front of the class who were coming late to his lectures? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, who punishes university students like that? <laughs> <laughs> he's such a trouble man. I didn't know you know Professor Robson. <laughs> well, I don't know him. There is no Professor Robson. See what? 
Theatre and Film Studies is named Robson School of Dramatics. Named after the great African-American actor Paul Robson. Of course you wouldn't know that. I don't even know if you're a student. Enjoy your day.